Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to do a tutorial on Wondershare Demo Creator. This is a sponsored video and I've actually covered other Wondershare products in the past like Filmora, which is one of my favorite video editors for beginners. If you guys decide you like this product, make sure to check the link in the description. And yeah, if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, Wondershare Demo Creator is a screen recorder and a video editor. Demo Creator is specifically good for certain types of videos because it makes your workflow super easy. For example, for a channel like mine where all I have to do is screen record and cut clips and maybe add background music, instead of recording my screen on one software and editing it in another, I can basically make my workflow a little bit faster and more efficient by having one program that just does it all. And additionally, Demo Creator has specific tools catered towards certain types of videos. So the certain types of videos I'm talking about are like tutorials, uh, gaming videos, presentations, and demos. And these are videos that require you to do very minimal editing. And I would say if you're an educator, a teacher, anyone who does any sort of tutorial presentation work, this is definitely a great product for you. So there is a free trial, but it has a watermark. So if you're looking to purchase this, it has a $60 one-time fee or a $33 yearly fee. So if you're going to use this for two years or more, the $60 plan is probably better. But yeah, uh, let's just get straight into it. So once you actually open up Wondershare Demo Creator, it'll ask you to access its video editor or its screen recording capabilities. So I'm just going to go with the screen recorder first. So right here are your recording devices. You can basically turn them on and off. So I'm going to show you some things that I really like about Demo Creator that I haven't really seen in other screen recorders and video editors. So let's just record a sample video right now. Basically, what we can do here is we can turn on the screen drawing tool right here. So what this allows me to do is just write on the screen. So once again, like I said, this is great for educators. There's this other toolbar right here. So if you have two monitors, probably ideal. And what you could do is just, you know, highlight certain areas and you can just undo it. So you can press like Control Z, like basic uh, keyboard shortcuts to undo. But this is really good if you're like making videos like Khan Academy. These screen drawing tools are ones that are very effective. So I just ended the recording right now and I'm going to show you how the video editor looks like. And I'm going to show you some really cool effects that you can do. So uh, once you finish recording, uh, it'll pop up in the video editor automatically. So like I mentioned before, it's super efficient if you're trying to pump out a lot of videos at once or you're just looking for something very minimal. And the benefit of recording in the software is they can detect certain things. Like, for example, they recorded my face separately from the screen recording in a software like OBS, which I personally use. You wouldn't be able to resize this face cam in post like you wouldn't be able to be because in other screen recorders they actually record just the screen but in this screen recorder they're actually recording my face cam as well as my screen so the benefit is we can move this around also another thing i really like is they have cursor effects so i'm going to just delete the audio because we don't need it but if we go to the cursor effects right here basically we can apply these specific effects and because we recorded this screen recording within Demo Creator, they sort of automatically detect where the cursor is. Whereas if we did this in another video editor like Premiere Pro, there is no way we would be able to apply this effect. So for example, if I drop this effect onto my screen recording, you can see the highlight comes in and basically it detects where my mouse is. Same thing goes with the different effects. So like if I dragged in magnify, it does the same thing. You can see the magnify shows up as well. And there's also an audio effect that you can apply where they could detect when you're actually clicking and they'll add a sound effect for that. So these are some effects that I have not seen on other screen recorders and video editors that I've seen on this that really surprised me. There's also templates that you can uh, go through and these look very similar to what I've seen on Filmora, which is a paid video editor. So for like a one time fee, I think it's quite nice that you get these uh, options as well. For example, you get like a title screen right here. And you can like edit this as well. So like maybe you can talk about like what you're uh, teaching in this video. So for example, like how to edit videos. So this is a great way you can do that. So for any sort of tutorial video, I think this is really great. Um, they also have annotations. You can apply arrows. So these things are very helpful for like presentation type videos. Um, these are like emojis, different like icons. Here are some basic transitions. And here are some basic effects right here, like green screen, which is helpful as well, especially for these type of videos. I would actually recommend it for gamers uh, who are looking to make a lot of different videos very quickly, maybe record something they're playing on their screen. And yeah, so I'm going to go back to the screen recorder real quick. So the settings on this are quite basic. 
One thing you can do is select the recording area. So most people will choose the full screen option where it records your entire screen, but you can also set a custom size in case there are maybe certain parts of your screen you don't wanna show. And there's also an option to select a target window. And this is very helpful if you're playing a game or if you have multiple tabs, maybe you're live streaming at the same time. And we're gonna go to the settings here. So right here, there's settings for basic screen captures. So you can set the frames per second, also what you wanna record specifically. And there's also a gaming option. So like I mentioned before, this might be great for gamers. Right now, I don't have any games open, but you would select the application uh, once you open it. So right now, these are like all the programs I have open right now. So these are the ones showing up. Here you can select your microphone input. Here you can set your camera input. And here is where you can set the destination video. So if you wanted to export like on your desktop or your documents, you would select where you want to export it. In shortcuts, you can set your shortcuts. So this is super helpful just because if you are recording your full screen, you might not want the people watching your video to see you constantly clicking on the toolbox or clicking record and pause. You can use the shortcuts instead so that you don't have to do that. So for example, if you wanted to draw on the screen, but you didn't want to click on your toolbox, you can just press shift control D. Same thing goes with spotlight as well. And for markers, let's just say you've decided that you know what you're talking about in the video is an important part of the video. You can press control M to set a marker. So this way, when you go back into the final edit, it's a lot easier to edit and you can maybe create timestamps for those parts. As for the video editor, it is quite basic. For all your basic options, you can just right click on your video layer or your audio layer. So right here, you can right click and press edit audio. You can add a marker. You can split your clips as well. You can crop them. Once you select any clip, there's also additional settings. Uh, like you can scale in your clip right here. You can rotate it. You can change the blend modes, change the speed of it. And if you click on the audio tab right here, you can adjust the volume settings. So it's really intuitive. So once you're done, you would just go to create video right here. And once again, it makes it very simple and very efficient to just pump out videos like that. You can connect this to YouTube and directly upload to YouTube instead of exporting your video, then uploading to YouTube. So I could find this very helpful if you are an educator, you're making gaming videos, maybe anything that requires very minimal editing. But right here, you can just export it uh, to your desktop or your documents or whatever. You can select the resolution. You can export up to 4K and you can select any frame rate right here. And then once you're done, you would just press export. And then that's about it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. I really think Demo Creator is very good for a niche audience. I would not recommend it for everyone. If you are trying to do extensive editing, this may not be for you. But if you are making educational videos, maybe where those screen drawing tools come in handy and where you just have to make basic cuts, uh, maybe add audio, maybe add a title screen. That's about it. Similar to what I do, I think this could be super helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.